Welcome to the Heal Your Life With Us podcast. I'm Kaylin. And I'm Chrissy. Are you ready to get healing? Let's do this. Today is my favorite. I've been waiting all year for this. Same. I'm sorry, speak into the microphone. Sorry, same. Today, we are talking about joy. <laughs> Finding joy and having fun. And apparently that means it's in your robe. It is. But speak it's, into the microphone. Sorry, it is. Um, For all of you not watching this insane pod, she has a tiny microphone that we are using to speak into for this entire pod. So picture that. And we are in our robes. Yes. Matching. Yes. Robes. Okay. So you can listen to this pod, but then I want you to go onto YouTube and actually watch it. The insanity that's about to go on for this pod. You need to find joy. And this is joy, people. Yes. This is what joy means. This is how you activate the joy in your life. You do. You do. So. We're going to talk about how we had to find joy again. We lost it. Did you lose it? We lost it. Yeah. 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 And then Joy was like, no, 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 no. Here's a robe. Mm -hmm. Go get in your robe. You're going to find joy again. Yes. So let's talk joy. Chrissy, what brings you joy? Oh, a lot of things bring me joy. My robe. This tiny microphone. Cats. <laughs> Spending time laughing. La mm. Laughing's probably my biggest one. That's like how I get the most joy. Uh, being around people that bring my spirits up. And Reiki? Reiki, yeah, for sure. Reiki that brings me joy. joy. Yeah, I giving it and receiving it. But I think we're, are we talking about like fun, fun, fun joy? Fun. Like we're talking about like, like silly things that just bring you all the joy in the world. Yeah. And it could be like crazy cat videos. <sighs> Crazy cat videos, yeah. crazy dog videos, yeah. silly things on Instagram that make you smile that you send to your friend immediately. Yes. Like they say social media is addicting and whatever. There's a little bit of joy in it. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of joy. You can have joy, I yeah. think, on tech. Yeah. You can totally have joy on tech. Right? I, I mean, mean, before, okay, before we had social media <laughs> and, and Instagram and all that stuff, we had America's Funniest Videos. AFE. I mean, come on. That was my favorite. That that's joy. That is joy. That's joy. Okay. What brings me joy? Uh definitely laughter. I would say number one, I laugh through it all. No matter how much pain I'm in, no matter where I'm at, no matter how much stress I have, I'm laughing. I'm gonna write my memoir. It's gonna be called Laughing Through the Pain. Mm -hmm. And making other people laugh is one of my favorite things. She's I don't know if that. you can tell. I'm yeah. sorry, speaking to the microphone. <laughs> She's really good at making people laugh. So you really need to understand how important it is to just find the funny, find your funny, whatever that means, find it in whatever you are doing. It comes to me very easily. I have a family full of funny people, but other things that bring me joy, a hot cup of coffee in my robe, hot bath, sitting on my lanai in the sunshine, petting my dog. Those are all joyous things that are baby, little tiny things. You don't think about these things as you're going about the rush of the day, right? Like you're going about your day and you're like, I gotta do this, gotta do that. I don't have time for joy. Oh yeah, you do. You gotta find time for joy. You have to find time for joy. Oh, another one? Reading my horoscope? Oh yeah. I love my one. horoscope. Yeah. Chris Persini. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> love doing things like that. Like just little things for yourself during the day. Yeah. We do a lot of things for herself, I think. Uh, you know, she likes to paint her nails. Mm -hmm. You know, that brings her joy, makes her feel good. So I think like a, a good thing that you want to think about is does it make me feel good? Am I fitting it in, into my day to get it done or am I doing it for myself, right? Yeah. It goes along with self-care. You got to find that joy in the self-care game. You do. And stuff that brings you joy is laughing, self-care, like the nails that you said, getting your hair done, getting a massage. These are all things that make you feel good. So what happens when you lose your joy? You don't even find cats funny anymore. You you get like sick. You get, you get ill. You get sad. You get down. You go to the dark night of the soul. You do. And then you're like, I don't think I can come back. Like why find joy? What 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 is joy? I don't even care. Like I'm just going to worry about this forever. Well, joy finds you that's what it is joy's gonna be like nope 
we're coming back. We're going to pick you up, possibly in a robe. And we're going to make sure that you have laughter and happiness because that's the purpose of life. It is. Yes. I feel like every time we laugh, because we've laughed a thousand times a day since you've been here visiting, uh, we heal a little bit. Don't you feel healthier than Monday? Can, can I just talk about what's happening to my body? <laughs> yes. Uh, I have no stomach aches, no headaches, no pain. I didn't change one thing in my diet. I'm eating the same things. All I'm doing is laughing. That's it. Every day. (laughs) So what is happening to my nervous system? It is relaxing. It is not caring. It is not tense because laughter gets rid of everything. Like it gets rid of everything for you. Worries, fears, just everything, thoughts. Everything's erased when you're laughing. So we ask, when was the last time you had a deep belly laugh where you were laughing so hard that you're crying down your face three times this week, Christina, crying down your face with tears and you can't stop. When was the last time? You might pee your pants a little bit. That's a good laugh. Yeah. A little piddle is fine. (laughs) I laughed so hard this week. I mean, the tears were just streaming down my face, but I feel miraculous too. Like I feel energized and like, I feel like I have a lot of energy. Like I don't even know what time, like when it's bedtime for us, I don't even feel that tired. We get the giggles. Yeah, we get the giggles. (laughs) So act like you're 16 sometimes, you know, and not every day, not every minute. Don't go into a meeting like full throttle comedian stand up in your robe, but you know, find the moments and pockets of your day to insert joy. You find something funny share it with a friend. What is the fun in laughing alone? Right? Like yeah. share it out. Like, Hey, this is super funny. I got to share this with you. I have all of my friends, literally all of my friends send me funny things on the daily mm-hmm. on the daily. Yeah. We're just like, Oh God, I got to share this with Chrissy. Like I got to send this to Sarah. Like this is like, no, it is not meant to be done on your own. Yeah. You need to share the joy you with share. others. And all those funny things that you're sending people, it's going to like, I always think when I'm sending you something funny, it's like going to brighten your day at the right time. Like, she's just going to read this and, like, bust out laughing at the very perfect time of the day when she needs it. And you, like, picture them laughing to yeah. it. And you're like, I'm so glad I, I shared that little bit of joy with them. I'm so, I hope, it, I hope it made their day. Yeah. And what that does inside of you is it creates a little spark that goes all the way through your immune system and your nervous system. And it heals all those little pockets of darkness. So only light can shine there. Yeah. Darkness hates laughter. It hates it. It can't survive. It can't survive in there. Yeah. It's like the anti-hero. It is. Taylor Swift. It is. It is. <laughs> we have figured out that when we're, okay, so I'm a, I'm a fixed energy person, which means like when I'm in it, I am, I'm in, I'm in deep and I go in and I can't stop thinking about it and I'm ruminating and I'm going over it in my head and Chrissy's like, uh, can you come back up for a second and just like, look at this funny like thing real quick or like. You know, she brings back something from the past that we did. And it's like, okay, don't take this so seriously. Because if you're taking life too seriously, your body knows. Yeah. It's, and yes. it, it tightens up and it tenses up and it doesn't allow the energy to flow and everything is blocked. Mm-hmm. So you have to just kind of pull yourself out of it sometimes. Yeah, you do. Like I can feel when I'm blocked, when I, when I haven't laughed in a few days and I'm a mutable energy. So I love to change things. I'm like, yeah, that's not making me laugh anymore. It's not going to go over here. I got to do something else. I do things like very sporadically. If it's not bringing me joy or it's just boring me to death, I'm like, okay, I'll come back to that later. We got to go over here. It's going to make me fun. I think that's a good point is to know when you need to laugh. Right? Yeah. Like to, it. Like to know when you're like, okay, I'm in too deep. I got to get myself out of this now. You may be in a dark place. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not saying like, just laugh like Chandler being on friends, like a defense mechanism, which it could work. It could work. Mm-hmm. It totally works for people. I've, I've been there. But if you can just get up out of it for a second and have a little light in the dark, it may bring you up to a little bit, you know, higher than, than when you were. I don't know how to do it, but Maybe your friends will help you. Maybe your support system will help you. Or funny if you videos. Can, if you can't do it yourself, can you speak it to the microphone, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> funny videos. 
funny videos will help you. True. If you're in a dark place, I mean, if you watch the funny one funny video a day when you're in a dark place, it's got to make you laugh eventually. True. You know. True. Okay. Okay. So there you go. That's, That's you tip do. number one, two, yeah. or three. I'm not sure which. I mean, we've given you a few, but it's not just laughter. It's it's like the 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 warm fuzzy feeling you get when you go home. It's like the the little tiny moments in the day when you look up at the sky and you see a pretty little bird and they're chirping and you're like ah, like it's gonna be okay like it's those moments that are gonna pull you out and you might be all by yourself you might be with your family you might be with your friends but if you don't stop and recognize it like if you're not a oh look at the sky person and look at the pretty sunset person and you really have to dig that out it's going to be tricky for you. Yeah. So you have to, you have to make sure you try to see the beauty in the world. Yeah. I just had one pop into my head. Okay. So when your kids are driving you absolutely bananas, these are for the moms out there and you're just like, you're want to pull your hair out. You have to find joy in something really silly and really small that they do. Like they might just be like sitting there struggling, like just trying to tie their shoes. Just stop for a minute. Don't, don't help them. Just watch, watch how they are concentrating that's going to bring you joy. Like that's going to bring you joy. So here's one of the things that brought me joy is my daughter went away on a trip, a six day trip all by herself for the first time in Orlando. So very far away from me. And I think as parents, one of our biggest things is to know that our kids can go away on their own. Like we, we have to prepare them for that, for that life adventure. Right. So if she can make it six days without us, I feel like I can pat myself on the back and say, okay, you did a good job because she can survive without her. She survived without us for six days. It brought me so much joy. Like I was like giddy inside because I was like, she can do it. She not only survived, she thrived. She thrived. Yes. But it was, it was a real testament. You have to find joy in like all the little moments. So like watch your kids, like I don't know, just start when they're picking up their toys. Like that's a joyful moment. Just really get into that moment and not be like, there's toys everywhere, yeah. you know? I'm stressed. Yeah, I'm all stressed out. You guys are driving me crazy. Yeah. You know, just find, watch them do small little things very quietly without you, without them noticing you're watching. And you're going to find joy in little tiny things that they're doing and they won't drive you as crazy as much. And tell them. Yeah. That brings me joy. Yeah. Little kid, that brings me joy. Yeah, watch when you do watching. that. Yeah, it brings you joy watching them try to tie their shoes. It brings you joy watching them brush their teeth. Like growing up, like doing little things for themselves, that should bring you joy because it's like you are teaching them to do these things, and it should like glow inside your heart knowing that they are able to brush their teeth on their own. They are tying their shoes. They are driving away in a car. You know, you taught them to do all these things, so that's got to bring you joy. Yeah, I got truth bumps. One way you can do this, I just thought of, is gratitude, yeah. right? We're going to do a whole pot on gratitude and how important it is, but gratitude is like equal to joy, right? You cannot live in a state of despair when you are living in a state of gratitude. Whenever I'm totally down and whenever I'm mad about something or I'm in pain, I'm like, all right, stop. I am so grateful for mm -hmm. this day, for all I have, all that I am, all that I can become. Like I just go into it and the joy just fills my heart. Mm -hmm. And it is just like, it just takes over. There's nothing I can do but be so grateful, yeah. right? And then the joy comes, right? And then mm -hmm. something comes on my phone that's like, oh, this is fun. Yeah. You know, we've been talking about how lately, like, the pod is mm -hmm. joy. Yeah. This podcast. This is joy every week. So much joy. I'm sitting here in my robe enjoying this. Yes. Right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how I look, but I <laughs> feel great. I'm cozy. So... This is joy. If you, if you are sitting here listening to this right now and you're like, what brings me joy? Why haven't I had more joy? It's on you to, mm -hmm. to get it. Okay. No one's going to be out there going, you know, Kayla needs more joy. I'm going to bring joy to her today. No, they have yeah. no idea what you need. You know, and you can bring it to you, but you don't like my joy is different than Chrissy's joy. Yeah. I don't pay my nails. Like it's different, right? So you have to figure out what brings you joy. Maybe do a joy audit. For sure. Write down the things that you love doing. Like my brother, his joy is fishing. So like everyone has a joy. Every single person has a joy out there. It could be writing. It could be creating. It could be artistic for me, you know, painting my nails. Uh, my brother fishing. 
So everyone has joy. Find your passion yeah. and like pull out a little piece of that passion. Maybe you can't do it right now because you're working. Maybe you can't do it because you got a family to raise. That's okay. You can pull out a little piece and watch a little fishing video and get excited about it, yes. right? You can go string your rod and have it sit out there waiting for you when you're ready. You know, mm -hmm. like there is things that you can do to build joy. Yes. You gotta, so, you gotta start though. You gotta start. You gotta start. That's when the habits come in. Yes. Right? And put your shoes on. You just put your shoes by the door kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah. You got to put your joy shoes by the door. You do. So. Yeah. Maybe just get a tiny microphone. That's a start. Start there. Yeah. You know, yeah. you you probably have a person in your life that brings you joy. 99% yeah. of the people, right? Yeah. You, you got a joy person, right? When you're down, go to the joy person. Randomly throughout my day, I'm just going to text people like random things. You know what I do? That's funny sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I text three people the same thing just to see their different reactions yes. and they're always all different yes <laughs> like let's just see what Chrissy says about this and my husband says about this my sister says about this you do that I yeah. do you I do, do. Take, you do like surveys I, I need that flood of goodness coming to me but it's also going out to them yeah you know so it's like when I texted you the other day, I was like wearing a black tank top tucked into my shorts and I haven't worn my shirt tucked in in years. Yeah. We're not sure what's happening with the tuck. I don't, I don't know. I was like, do you get a certain, do you get to a certain age and like you start tucking? Is this normal? Like, am I supposed to be tucking? Is it supposed to be on the outside? I don't know what's happening. So I'll text her. I'll text Matt. I'll text Emma. I'll text them all. And they'll just give me all different answers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the answer is yes. Oh, you know what? I just had a great idea and I have to say it. I don't know. Somebody's out there listening to this episode. This little tiny microphone, if you have multiple children and they're always talking over you and talking at the same time, get a tiny microphone and whoever has the microphone can speak. If you don't have the microphone, you can't speak. Great idea. So I just put that out there. Somebody needs to hear that. I mean, we're solving all of your problems. We are. Right now with joy. Yes. Okay. We are. Okay. Your kids are going to find it joyful. Yeah. This thing's not even plugged in. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they won't know. They won't know. No, but okay. they, yeah. It's like, if you have the tiny microphone, you are allowed to speak. Yeah. Right. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. That might bring me joy. Tonight. <laughs> it's going to bring some mom's joy. Right. When they got four kids screaming at them all the time. <laughs> yeah. Joy. It's coming in hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so let's recap. We did when you're down and out, yep. you have to find your joy. It can be in small baby habits. Okay. It doesn't mean full throttle. You have to immerse yourself in joy because I actually don't think that works. You, you can't do, you can't be joy and laughing all the time. Although I try, yeah. you, you really can't because it, it's an ebb and flow. Yeah. Okay. Find your people, find your support system, get your tools, right? Get your tiny microphones, get your robes, get your coffee cups, get your nail polish. Maybe you could have a joy day. I don't know. Like whatever it means to you. Can you fit an hour? Can you fit five minutes? Can you do a day? Can you do a week? Chrissy goes off the grid in the summer and she just has a joy filled summer. I do. Speak into the microphone, please. Yeah, I do. I do. I just, uh, all summer we travel, we, we can't, we're in our RV. I'm like, peace out guys. She just leaves her life and she just goes in, into the joy zone. I do. So you can do that. You know, if you can, you know, I don't advise just leaving your life, but I think it's important to insert it mm -hmm. and it's important to share it with others. Yes. Don't keep the joy to yourself. Share it with others for sure. Yes. It's so important because when you heal others, you heal as well. It's just science. Yeah. So you have to go with what works. Now, three little tips that we do for joy when we are together, separate, in pain, not. We stop what we're doing. And we be present. How hard is that, Chrissy? It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. What do you do? Sorry, what do you do? Stop thinking about everything in the future and think about where I am at this very moment. With gratitude? With gratitude. I mean, I feel it. Like, I feel the room. I feel the, the colors, you know? Okay. I feel the feels of this moment in time. And I forget about what happened yesterday and what I'm supposed to do in an hour. Okay. So there's one. Stop. It's not like stop, drop, and roll. It's different. It's not like, you know, vanilla ice or any of that. Mm -mm. It's just stop. Mm -hmm. So just stop and be present. Uh, bring gratitude into it is number two, right? Yep. So thankful because you can't be in despair when you're grateful. Nope. So gratitude and then share it with others. Yes. Easy. It's like a one, two, three process. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. I don't know. It's not that hard, guys. No. Complimenting others brings joy. Mm. So yeah. that's only that's helping you heal, right? Because right. you're up there, you're like this light for somebody else. But giving somebody else, even a stranger, a compliment for the day, it helps them. It brings light and joy to their I love doing it. Yeah, you do love it. I love doing it. <laughs> you do. Love it. Just did it to this dude at Publix. Amazing. He had the dreads and everything came up to me. I was like, I love your hair. I love it. And I mean, he probably went home and it was like, she told me she loved my hair. Mm -hmm. I mean, make somebody's day. That's joy. It is joy. Let's add that to the list. Yes. Yeah. Make somebody else's day for sure. Yeah. For joy. Uh, fourth and final tip. Maybe buy a robe. Mm -hmm. If you don't spend time in your robe, do you even know joy, bro? No. <laughs> mm -mm. no. You need a robe. Just get comfortable with it. Like, you don't need to be on all the time. It's exhausting. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you get into your zone, whatever that is. If it's not a robe for you, maybe it's, I don't know, like slippers or whatever. Like, put your hair up. Like, kick it off. Yeah. But don't be lazy. I mean, don't be lazy. Yeah. But just get into your joy mode. Yeah. Whatever that means. Yeah. Get a color that makes you feel joyous. You know, this color makes us feel joyful when we wear it. So, and get a fit, like a feeling. They make robes in all different kinds of textures. Yeah. I'm partial to this one. Same. Cozy. Fuzzy. From Kroger. I just had another idea too. What about writing? Right? So you could write out maybe all the things that bring you joy and then put them into like an action plan. Mm -hmm. Right? So you, you, you find out that XYZ brings you joy. So then you figure out how can I fit this into my life? How many times can I fit it into my life? And what will that be when it happens? What, how will I feel? I've been asked a lot lately, instead of saying, what is it that you're doing? How does it make you feel when you do it? Yeah. And then it will bring value to your life and you will add it into your schedule just like you would a dentist appointment or whatever it is in part of your calendar. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You have to feel it. You have to be you like, this it. makes me feel amazing. I want more of this in my life. Yeah. 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 I agree. And I, I think if it doesn't go in the calendar, it doesn't Ooh, yeah. happen. It doesn't happen. Like no invites. There's things that go on the calendar that don't happen. So definitely put it on the calendar. Yeah. And I think it's kind of cool to do that when you see it, it's going to bring you joy. Yeah. If you see it on your calendar, you're like, Oh, joy's coming. And then you get excited. Yeah. So whatever it means to you, you have to make it yours and make it happen. Yeah. I was just thinking about that when you said journaling, writing it all down. I feel like you could journal all the things that bring you joy, write them all down like little squares, fold them up to little pieces of paper and put them in like a jar, like a mason jar or something. And then every day, you have to bring yourself joy every day. Pull one out and be like, this is what's going to bring you joy today. It could be like paint your nails, go for a run. Uh, watch funny videos, whatever it is. Take a bath, whatever brings you joy. Leave it to Chrissy to put a little jar with some folded papers in yeah. it. With some twinkle lights, probably. Yeah, definitely have twinkle lights in there. Yeah, there's yeah. probably going to be candles involved. And... Yeah. I mean, make it fun. Yeah. I mean, fun is my favorite thing. I'm an Enneagram 7, and if I don't have fun, I die a little yeah. bit inside. She does. I do. Yeah. I, I have to make fun for her every day while she's here. Yeah. Yeah. And she has. Yeah. <laughs> And I appreciate that. And what happens is like right now with this pod, she just came up with new ideas. So when you're living in joy and you're bringing fun to it, yeah. you're coming up with new ideas and we're bouncing things off of each other. Yeah. We're creating action plans. Like there was nothing before that. No. Right. So new ideas and new things come to you. Who knows what can be birthed yes. from joy? Oh my goodness. If you're doing something that you love and you're like, you're just in that moment of you are open to all these cool, awesome ideas that are going to come your way. Like, tomorrow, you know what? I'm going to do this. Or I just have a new brand new business plan. I'm going to write a book, whatever it is. I'm going to record some new music. It's just going to flow to you because you are happy. In the joy zone. Joy You're zone. in the joy zone. Mm -hmm. I can't express it enough. And it makes me sad that I wasn't in the joy zone for all those years. Yeah. How much joy did I miss out on? Because I was like, no, nah, I'm going to worry about this. No, nah, I'm going to fret. I'm going to stress. I'm going to create more problems in my thyroid. I'm going to do all the things. All I needed to do was laugh. That's it. That's it. And get a tiny microphone. I mean, clearly. Yes. So there's a few things that y'all need to do. If you are not prioritizing joy, get it up there. Yeah. Get it on the calendar. Do what you need to do because you deserve it. You work hard. You take care of yourself. You're listening to this because you want to heal and you want to be better like us. 
Mm -hmm. So let me just tell you how much I, you said you go days without laughing. I do not go days without laughing. No, she doesn't. I do not go. I don't even know if I go hours without laughing. Yeah. I'm just in like the toilet laughing by myself. Yeah. Like just now I am because of all the things we've been doing. I find myself blow drying my hair laughing. I heard you last night laughing. It's like <laughs> by yourself. You're just like random, you know, and build, build a joy database. So when you're down, you just open up your phone and scroll through those pictures that make you laugh. Mm -hmm. The bloopers, for instance. Yeah, just watch our Go video. to the Heal Your Life With Us bloopers on YouTube. You will guarantee smirk a little bit. It, uh, it will turn upwards a little bit because yes. when you are, humility is a big part of what we do, right? Yes. We're, we're just out here sharing and laughing and messing up all the time, mm -hmm. all the time. Every day. So speak into the microphone, please. So <laughs> Also, can you count how many times she said that on this pod, please? <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure that you get some laughter today because that is what it is all about. It is. No matter where you are in your journey, no matter what you are doing, okay, make time. Make time for joy. Please. You will make me very happy. And you will heal. Mm. That's a big part of it. Probably yeah. a bigger part of it. Yeah. I mean, other than making me happy, yeah. you will have also heal. You will heal. And you might heal others. Whew. That is strong. It is. So strong. Be the joy yeah. in somebody else's life. Yes. Not even for yourself, but for others. Yes. Mm, I love it. Mm -hmm. That makes me, that makes me sing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else that you'd like to share with your diet, uh, your, your fans? No, no, no. I think no. we said it all. Are you sure? I'm, sh I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. I feel really good. Yeah. I'm joyous. Yes. Okay. All right. Spread joy. Yes. And keep going, find it, even when you don't want to, get your joy database, share it with others, be grateful, laugh, 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 laugh. And get yourself a robe. Let me turn your microphone. Yes. Okay? No matter how silly it is, it's worth it. Okay? All right, we love you. Uh, you can find us, as always, at Heal Your Life With Us podcast mm -hmm. on YouTube, Instagram, yep. and anywhere you listen, we are at Heal Your Life With Us podcast at gmail.com. We are on Eventbrite at Heal Your Life With Us, monthly healing energy events. And we have now Goldify, our book. book. And that's available on Amazon. And I am available at uh, CBC Inked on YouTube and Instagram, which is Breathe With Me, Kaylin Bree, Meditation and Breathwork. And where can they find you? They can find me on Instagram as well, C-H-R-1-S-S-Y underscore Rice. And if you would like some additional healing, some Reiki energy healing in person or distance, go to sunshinesoulreiki.com. We are here for y'all. Go find your joy. Yes. Love you, you got this. Bye.